Hit Film Sensei here. Today we're going to talk about how to make a simple pencil sketch effect, very easy to do in Hit Film 4 Express. Here's what it looks like. You can download Hit Film 4 Express for free at hitfilm.com. I would highly encourage you to do that. Get yourself a copy and start looking around, playing with it. It's great. I want to acknowledge that this tutorial is inspired by Axel Wilkinson's tutorial on a very similar idea uh, that he did a long time ago. And I will leave a link to that video in the description below. So feel free to go take a look at that one. It's a great video for sure. So we're going to start by importing some footage. I have a really quick, less than two second uh, piece of footage here of me uh, just simply giving the thumbs up there. Ha! Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go to the very last frame and under options, export frame, and I'm going to export that as a still frame and I'm going to call it still. And then I'm going to import that still frame and then I'm going to drop it in right behind this. So that way basically what I have now is me giving the thumbs up and bam, I'm frozen. I'm going to go ahead and make that still a composite shot by right clicking and make composite shot. Click OK. And what I need to do is I need to desaturate that or make it black and white. So I'm going to use the hue, saturation and lightness effect to make it black and white. And then under the master categories I'm just going to drop the saturation all the way down. After I've done that, now I can go ahead and duplicate this because I'm going to need two of them. And to the top layer, I'm going to add what it, we call an invert effect. It's under the color grading part. Oh, what a lovely picture that is. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to under controls and layer properties, blend mode, I'm going to switch that to color dodge. And so they're essentially dodging each other out and canceling completely. So they're exactly opposite of each other. But we can make a little tweak by adding a blur effect. And when you do that, then the blur just changes the pixels enough to make it look like a really cool little pencil sketch. And that's pretty much it. So now we go back to our editor timeline and you can see how it just bing changes like that. Now if you wanted a little bit of a fade maybe or something like that, then what you could do is real easily go to video transitions, dissolve and add a cross dissolve between them. And now we have this. And that is how you make a simple pencil sketch effect. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.